What is up guys? We're here on soda firing number two. So this is super exciting. Kai and I play basically just our stuff in this kiln. Uh, we peeked in here and there are some sweet results. Super excited. So we just built this soda kiln last week. There's lots of videos about that. Uh, and now we get to fire it and see all the results. So the soda in there melts on the pots, does crazy things to the glaze like this pot is a glaze that I do a lot in the electric field and it looks nothing like this, which is pretty cool. But anyway, so we're gonna unload this kiln, show you guys the results, talk about it. We're still learning a ton about this kiln and uh, Aurora Green over sandstone. Like, look at that. You just get really interesting results. The Minnesota has that cool flashing on there and that, like it kind of flashes without even any flashing slip mm -hmm. or anything. Super cool, super fun. I think that's the Celadon, just carbon trap Celadon. Mm, but this is the part that got soda. Yeah, so this is soda on the carbon trap Celadon, so that looks pretty good. Yeah. These two are, I had a pot I did in the first one. It's like, a, these are all glazes that we made. So it's like Rutil White and Galactic Indifference and Green Matte. So these were Kevin Kowalski's glazes. Yeah, so lots of, I mean, you can tell well, there's just tons of soda, right? Like, mm -hmm. and this is just totally like carbon trapped everywhere, basically. Yeah. And then like, rad is cool. Like put that on a shelf. Like, so this was, this vase was si fired on its side on the wads. And that's one of the coolest thing about atmospheric firings is you get like just such crazy results based on where the wadding is, how you load the pot, the dripping. So like how cool that vase look like on a, on a shelf. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. Oh yeah, got a, got some rings. That's just floating blue on there. Oh, look at that pot! Mm. That's gonna be flipping sweet, as is this. That? Just flashing slip, I think. Oh. I got blasted then. Blasted. Look at the blue in there. I have a feeling that this is the yellow salt or peach cranberry. Oh, yeah. Yeesh. Yeesh. Good thing I can fire it again cool. in the gas kiln. <laughs> that is so cool. Right? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, I saw a couple of pinholes. We'll probably refire a couple of these in the electric, some of the gas, and just see what happens. But that turned out really nice. That is like freaking gorgeous. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's actually Blue Surf. Oh. Blue Surf from Mako. Got a little drippy drippy there. But hey, that never never hurt anybody. Yeah, so that's musty green mat on the base with Rutil White mm. and probably Galactic Indifference on the bottom. So, Northern Lights. Yeah, it's kind of wild. It's pretty cool actually. I mean, the back looks yeah. Way more. So this is the Northern Lights glaze that I do in the electric kiln. Did it in the gas kiln or the soda kiln, and it's like must have just gotten blasted with soda. I mean, that's wild stuff, isn't it? Mm hmm Ah, it's so cool. It's so fun. Alright, this last guy was fired on its side. I put Wow. I put wadding on top with the Minnesota and wadding on bottom. It's kind of interesting. It's pretty cool, actually. Is that a roar green? Roar green over red. Wow. There's some spots in there that are Ooh. just super cool. Oh, look at that one. Here's a little midnight rain Ooh. over winter wood action. Seems like it got plenty hot. Here's just galactic indifference. Got a lot of pinholes in this one. Not, not great. So this yeah. is called the bag wall right here, which we just kind of put some random pots there. This is that Northern Lights glaze, which, yeesh. I'm not a huge fan of that. Woo! That looks like it's got a lot of soda. Mm -hmm. Wow. Peach cranberry. Pretty cool. <laughs> well, 
not everything's gonna look great. It's got some crazy planters. That's pretty cool, actually. Look at that. That's really sweet. That's super cool. Let's go. God, I love that texture. It looks like it's just like wet yeah. Like condensation. Yeah. Yeah. So this is fun. What? What do you think that is? Oh, it's like Northern Lights buttercream. It is yeah. buttercream. This thing is pretty unbelievable. This is the Northern Lights combo. Like, I feel like it just kind of goes to show you that, like, you can do what? Like, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. I really like that. And I don't even remember what it was. Those are. It's got to be the floating blue or the blue surf, right? Yeah, it's got to be floating blue, but how, like, how you get that effect on there? Flashing slip with just floating blue. Liner glaze, yeah. floating blue over flashing slip. Wow, wow, wow. But what is this one? Yeah. Probably gonna refire that. 